the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 303, Luke 17 to 18. Jesus, the kingdom of God. The intention of the Pharisees who tried to tempt Jesus foolishly lost their authority against the Son of God. They instead ended up revealing their ignorance. First point, Jesus taught that one should show true loyalty and then confess that they are unworthy servants. Jesus said that in order to become his disciple, they had to become four things. The first was someone who did not cause one of their brothers to stumble. The second was someone who always forgave their brother if he repented. The third was someone who had faith. The fourth was someone who showed true loyalty and then confessed themselves as unworthy servants. After teaching them about the way of the disciple, Jesus healed ten lepers on his way to Jerusalem. In Judea, lepers were regarded as unclean and were unwelcome in society. They had a hope that Jesus would heal them. Jesus healed ten of them, but only one, who was a Samaritan, came back to thank Jesus. That the Samaritan thanked Jesus on his knees was the ultimate expression of his respect and gratefulness. Through this instant, the Samaritans, who had been frowned upon for the past 800 years, became restored to God. Second point. The Pharisees were unable to understand that Jesus came to the world to fulfill God's vision. Through Jesus' ministry, he was already implementing the kingdom of God. When the Samaritan, who was healed from leprosy, thanked Jesus wholeheartedly, that person had already experienced the kingdom of God. However, the Pharisees, who observed Jesus' ministry, were unable to witness or come close to the kingdom of God. This was because they had no intention to believe in the kingdom of God. And although they had directly asked about it, they refused to see it. The Pharisees wished to rebuke Jesus, who declared that the kingdom of God was dear. They did not want to understand that Jesus was the Son of God, who came to save the world. Jesus, nevertheless, continued to teach what would happen to the world when it ended. The following was taught regarding the final day. First, no one knew when this would be. Jesus, however, thought that he would suffer before the final day. Second, those who tried to preserve their lives would lose it, and those who did not would be able to live. Jesus warned them to reflect on Lot's wife on the final day. Third point, Jesus used two parables to teach the people how to pray. Jesus, who taught his disciples how to pray, went into more detail about prayer through two parables. The first parable was about a widow who requested to a judge to help her. Jesus said that even a judge who only wanted to get rid of the widow listened to her and said that, of course, God listens to our request. The important thing that we must do is to have faith that God would listen. The second was the parable about the Pharisee and the tax collector. The Pharisee's prayer was not a prayer to God, but a public show. Oppositely, the tax collector prayed to God in private and confessed to God that he was a sinner and asked for forgiveness. Jesus said that in this case, the tax collector was more righteous than the Pharisee. Fourth point, the Pharisees, tax collectors, and the sinners had three differences. 
Jesus justified the identities for the people who belonged in the kingdom of heaven. The people in the kingdom of God were not to be like the teachers of the law or the Pharisees. Jesus taught them exactly what the Pharisees were doing wrong, and this was being self-righteous. They publicly fasted during prayer and also offered tithe. They kept the laws for the people to see. Another thing they did was to rebuke others with their standards. Their actions contained no mercy. For this reason, Jesus referred to them as hypocrites. Obviously, the tax collectors and the sinners whom Jesus befriended had the following characteristics. The first was that they were embarrassed that they had not kept the laws. The second was that they fully accepted their sins and repented. An example of this is Zacchaeus, who repented and gave away half of his wealth to the poor and said that he would repay the people. He longed by four times. The Samaritan woman who gave Jesus water also confessed her sins and repented and came to testify Jesus. The third was that they were merciful to others. Bibb's point. The Pharisees who were so focused on causality were unable to understand God's mercy. The Pharisees lived by the theory of causality. However, the sinners rather relied on God. The Pharisees made others take heavy yokes with their self-righteousness, and they were so caught up in the theory of causality. What they failed to see was that God's mercy existed before his creation. Thus, causality cannot explain God's mercy. Jesus therefore forgave the sinners with God's mercy and taught them that he himself was God's mercy. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones, the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.